Hello ladies and welcome back to Jam Talk With Me. So birthday! And today I need to show y'all darlings. I got a new ring in the mail. If you didn't see my video up of what it's like when you go and get a new ring in the mail. Just the excitement of it being delivered. So this is just a more in-depth look real quick at it. So this is a Michael Valatuti piece. And if you would like a video on my favorite jewelry designers and like my favorite, um, not just jewelry designers, but where I like to buy my jewelry from, um, I will do that in another video. So this is, like I said, this is from Evine, um, Michael Balatuti. I will put the link in the description below. Um, I know there are very few rings left, almost none. Um, but this is a Martha Roca colored topaz masterpiece darling ring. Now, um, it is priced on clearance at $164.99. Yesterday, girls, I checked the price on this yesterday. I got people, I got like companies numbers, okay? It was $109 yesterday. Obviously, I paid the $164 for it. But it was 109 yesterday, I guess because they probably aired it. And when, like, Evine, HSN, QVC, JTV airs something, they always give it an extra discount. So if you really want to buy it, buy it then. Because usually the next day, like I said, the price went uppity duppity on it. And my bun just going down. So, the pink topaz. Oh, I'm like, where's the ring? It's a gorgeous pink darling very gorgeous as you can see from here can you you can really see the pink from here now what Michael Valatuti does what this is it is sterling silver it is coated with palladium and it is over I believe 14 karat yellow gold so it is a sterling silver piece but it's not solid gold it is a, it does have a gold wash now his pieces are very regal looking they're very rich looking because of the gold and the silver and how he designs it he's just very intricate so if you are more of a simplistic style person these are definitely not the rings for you they are very big statement pieces which is what michael sorry which is what michael balatuti does almost on all of his jewelry this is his like this is his signature design. This is his mark. Like, this is how you know it's a Michael Valatuti piece. I do have pictures on my Instagram if you want to look at them. Let me get up closer for y'all. So here it is. Look at that pink. It matches my nails. This is a marquee shape. They had them in a couple of other shapes, an oval and a pear. I love marquee shapes. You do not see them often in jewelry and they just look beautiful on your finger. Here is the side profile. As you can see, there's the gold and then the intricate designs that he does. And here's what it looks like right here. Like I said, it's a very gorgeous, regal, rich looking ring and his, all of his ring designs are done in this European style shank. You see how that's different from like a normal ring, like just your normal circular, I was trying to find a ring, band. What this does is it lays flatter when you're wearing it so you're not banging it on stuff as much. And what the European style shank also does is you should, I'm not very steady with this right now, but you should be able to set it to where it just stands up like this, just because it's pretty flat around here. But as you can see, there are more little topazes on each side. It is just an amazing, gorgeous ring. And this is how he designs all of his rings. It's the palladium. It's a sterling silver, and then it's over the palladium, and then the gold palladium is a very, very expensive metal. So he is he really backs up all of his pieces. He says they are not going to char they're gonna be more anti-charnish because he has his the palladium over the sir the in with the silver. 
and that they will last and look really good and also less scratching but that's what it looks like on my hand right there it sets up I want to say kind of high but not too too high it's definitely not super low profile but it's not like crazy high especially for the stone I mean you are getting a amazing gorgeous stone let me see you are getting let me look um let's see so the oval which is the one I have this is a 14 not oval sorry this is a marquee get it right Sarah it's 14.9 carats but look how stunning that color is like the sat sorry my hair is everywhere <laughs> the saturation of this pink is amazing I am in love with it obviously it goes great with my nails um, I am wearing like an orange shirt today, but regardless, this looks amazing, okay? This will look great with any color. Hello, spring is here, ladies. This is going to look amazing in the summer, in the spring, in the fall, in the winter, darlings. There is no rule when you can wear jewelry. Jewelry is every season, all seasons, every year, all day, all over the place, okay? But I mean, just be, I, I like... I love spring, I love Easter, I love the colors that come out of it, especially in summer. I just love colors, I love things that are saturated with really beautiful, vibrant colors. That's just me, I love colors. And this ring is an amazing pop of color, I'm going to tell you right now. And I know I sound like I'm working for them, I wish I did. I, girl, I wish they sent me this piece and be like, yes, we want you to review it. But no, 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 I bought this with my own money. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. But yeah, I love it. Amazing color, so pretty, and what I love that he does, okay, that I, the reason I also purchased it, not only because his gemstones are amazing, Michael Valatuti does gorgeous, great quality gemstones, I really like that he does the gold mixed in with the silver, because there, then you can kind of wear it more like with your gold pieces, you know what I mean? Where are my hoops? I usually have on my hoops. Um, you can wear them with you're like, like I have my gold necklace on and I usually have my giant ass hoops on, but I don't. But you can wear them with your gold pieces. You can mix it with silver because it has that gold with it. You know what I mean? It's got that gold. So I, I mean, obviously I love mixing. Let me sit down. I love mixing my metals as you can tell oh my hair is not having a good day today i love mixing my metals um i mix them with the silver obviously because i have on silver bracelets but i love mixing gold and silver because you, i mean who has I mean, i'm sure people do but i don't have all a bunch of gold drape to be draping myself in you know what i mean like can you imagine how much it would cost to have gold like this a lot of money i just had got like my necklace so that's why I like silver mixed in with gold because then it coordinates more with my silver jewelry and it can also coordinate more with my gold pieces which is why I do like some pieces that have silver and gold in them. It just makes it more versatile to wear with your everyday things, you know what I mean? And which is why I really also love this ring. Um, and it's just got a beautiful, the color, I, I mean, Michael Valatuti does not disappoint when it comes to gemstones and color. His gemstone, he's got emeralds. He does a lot of gemstones that you are not going to find, like, good quality stones. You won't find, um, like, JTV or other, or in other designers or at the store. His stones are just saturated with beautiful colors. I mean, that's why I also love his designs. I wish he would do a little more simplistic stuff, but I love this ring. Um, so we're going to see how it wears because I'm not, I know I said a bunch of great things about him, but I do have a ring. I actually have three of his rings, but I have another ring that I had got, my husband had purchased for me for, I think, an anniversary or something. And it also was gold, you know, because all of his designs have the gold and the silver. And I only wore it literally a couple of times and it completely like washed off. The gold is a non-existent, and you think, you'd be like, Sarah, if that happened to a ring of yours already, wouldn't you not buy another ring from him? You might be right, but girls, I guess I did not learn my lesson because I have, after that ring, because that was my first ring by him, I also purchased 
another cameo ring, which I have somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. Like I said, I purchased a cameo ring from him, and then I purchased this one. Um, I, like I said, I only wore that ring. The it was an amethyst ring. It's actually by my bathroom. Um, like I said, the gold just washed off. I don't know. Maybe I got a dud on that ring. I'm hoping that was just like a bad batch of a ring because I mean I do have this cameo one let me show you to compare see I have this cameo ring from him this is uh, all hand carved and look at those these are citrines on each of the endpoints and they are very deep but see how his has it's got the gold on the side as well um, I will say it's held up really good on this ring too. See, he kind of does like the same designs-ish. Um, the gold's held up really well on this ring, but I've literally worn this ring like one time. Why your nose is so itchy. Yeah, I like literally wore this one time and it's been in the bag. I also had the, I don't know, the other ring I had also that where the gold wash it washed off. It's not in a bag anymore, but that's just because the gold's completely, it's, just, it's non-existent, it's all silver now. And so, I'm going to keep an eye on this ring, and if it does the same thing, I'm definitely going to have to, like, contact the company and let them know, you know, what's going on. Because, I mean, everyone swears by his products, like, everyone loves his stuff. No one's ever come made any complaints about the gold washing off. So, I'm just going to, you know, keep an eye on those two rings. Maybe I just had that a ring I had got was just a bad one I don't know and I hope it's not because I really this ring is a really gorgeous and I mean if the gold washes off there's really nothing I can do because you know you only get like a 30 day return type of deal but I'm definitely keeping this I was gonna use it for I was gonna return it for a size 9 because this is a 10 it's a little big but um they're sold out I think on my size and it's a pain in the ass to return the shit back. You gotta return it. Then they charge you like a restocking fee or like a shipping fee or something. And then you just wind up spending even more money, which is why I don't like ordering a lot of things online. But jewelry, you know, you got to. Because where are you going to find pieces like that? But my fingers do swell. And in the summer, they really swell. Like literally one size bigger. So I'm fine with this. I can always get an adjustable little ring to put right underneath this if I need to. But I'm very happy with this right now. Um, if you would like an update on it to see if the gold does wear off, because I i don't know if any of you shop on Evine or have any of his pieces. He does have nice pieces. But yeah, um, I'll keep you guys updated on it. This is a gorgeous ring. I totally, totally recommend this ring, especially if you love pink. If you're a pink girl, I mean, definitely. Like, come on. It's like that flamingo-y dark deep ish pink and the way the stone is cut is just flawless it's cut very pretty where it just disperses light and it sparkles i have pictures of it on my instagram so go check that out um but yeah definitely going to be keeping that piece i'll put the link in the description where you can where you can go like i said there was an oval and a pear shape this is the marquee cut um so you can go click on the link and see if there's any in stock left but if not, you can always be put on a wait list to see if you can get it later because they always, you know, they'll say sold out, but people return stuff. So you're all good to go on that. My hair. So, yeah, that's all I got to say because I got to stop talking so much. Anyways, I will see you ladies later. Remember to say everybody do your sparkle. Stay gorgeous, stay beautiful, and remember most of all to stay unique and stay true to yourself because when you stand out from the crowd you shine obviously and who doesn't want who want, who wants to fit in I mean I'm sure there are people that want to fit in but I don't and always stay true to yourself I just got to add that in there because don't let anybody change you don't let anybody try to change you as a person because once people start trying to, to change you, it doesn't matter if it's a family member, if it's a friend, if it's your husband, if it's your boyfriend, if it's your auntie, if it's your grandma, if it's your grampy, it's your mima, all of that stuff. Once people start trying to change you, you are not true. You are not your true self anymore. You, I feel like 
that's when people start feeling shut in. They, they get, like, you know, like, because they're not allowed to be themselves. And when you're not allowed to be yourself, I feel that's when people start, you know, you get sad, you get depressed because you're not letting, people aren't letting you be your true self. And I think you should always be true to yourself and your true self and not have, never change for anybody because you are made the way you are. And I just don't think that anybody should try to change you because you are your own person, you are individual, you are special in your own way. I know special, but you know what I mean? Like I would never let anybody change who I am. If anybody tries to do that, you know what you say? Mm-hmm. There's the door, girl. There's the door. Don't let it hit you on the way out. Boy, bye. Girl, bye. Grandma, bye. Family, bye. You know what I mean? Like, just don't cheat yourself out of yourself. Does that make sense? I ain't making sense. I know it. But <laughs> life lessons from Sarah Brittany. Girl, you we will talk about this in another video. So I will see you ladies later. I am taking open orders for my Be By Sarah Brittany bracelets. Um, if you want to be on the in, in the now, and always know what's going on, follow me on my Instagram. I'll have the links down below. My Facebook, my Twitter, not my Twitter, my Snapchat. New charms are coming, okay, and they are in silver, which is great. Um, but you can still mix, like, silver charms. It's more of, like, um... You can design your own things now. Like, I'm doing a thing where you can, like, add on what you want on it and what you don't want. You know what I mean? I'm making it so you can style it to more of your liking. So, that is coming up. So, be ready for that. And I think that's all I gotta say. I will see y'all later. Bye!